hello guys i am sushil balami from the mobile tech so today i am going to show you how to make the app that shows the current weather of your location so let's get started so i've used different arrangement that i've used uh, swipe refresh layout also you can get from the layout options so here i have used one horizontal arrangement and there i have used one level and one image to show the image of weather conditions so another i have used different species and i again i have used the label to show the location and again original arrangement and i have taken two arrangement on that arrangement so one is uh, original arrangement there is one level to show the current temperature and in another max and minimum temperature of today so behalf of that i have used a web component and json tools also so you can get this extension this is made on the turntable community this is made by lucky and you have to use location sensor and you have to enable that so you can find that location sensor on the sensor bottom you can read uh, more at the macro docs so let's proceed so you have to get the api key from the open weather map so this is free and you can get up to 60 calls per minute so here you can see you have to you can see their uh, current weather data you can subscribe also you can see api docs also so you can uh, click on subscribe and get api key and start you, uh, in the free version you can get calls per minute 60 current weather it shows current weather and you can see that five days three hour forecast API also there so how to start you can see from there and you can start and get the API key you can see the examples also so I am closing that I have already get the API key you can get from there so after that you can see the example of api calls and here you can see the one uh, link this will be link uh, is the example of api call using long longitude and latitude of your location so it will be link in description you can get from there and you can see that example of geographic coordinate so let's go towards the block so here you can see after getting the api key i have uh, uh, put it on the local variable initializing as the api key so you can get api key i have already told that from open map and here you can see after ap app id there is my api key so it will be join in after so i have initialized another local variable called json also so here you can see after screen initialize i have called the procedure so in that procedure i have used the notify component of progress dialog called fetching weather and title as locating so you can get progress dialog dialog so after that i have put the web url you can see i am joining that uh, keys joining all the links so you can get the join from the text uh, and you can see that i in the notepad i have shown you that uh, link api so here you can see api key you can see let equals to copy that uh, uh, link and paste there and uh, in the latitude uh, your present or user present latitude will be there from the location sensor you can get latitude so you can drag and drop there like that and delete and another joining another one text called and lon so cop lon equals to copy and paste there so that uh, you can so that you can request the api key using longitude and latitude so you can get the longitude of the user from the long sensor so after that you can see that address app id equals to copy that and paste there and call the variable that we have uh, initialized before so after calling uh, and 
paste and unit cost matrix sorry i have forgot in the notepad paste there with this uh, parameter you can get the temperature on degree celsius and uh, after that call wave and get the wave call the get wave so that you can find from the that block so after that we have the main context here so in after wave got text what should be there i am dismissing the notifier after that and i have set the response content to the global json i have initialized before you can see here initializing so i have copied the response content so you can get the response uh, you can see here copy and paste the link in the browser so here you can see this raw data okay you can see this raw data so you, this is on json format so copy it you can use online json viewer also for it uh, you will get easier so after clicking on viewer you can see their json files you can get the maximum temperature minimum temperature current temperature and the present con condition so let's proceed so after that i have used call json pairs json of the global json so we have put the response content on the global json so i, I have called that and after that you can see here i have called the weather of the attribute name so uh, from json file i have called the attribute called weather you can see there press json on the json tools and drag and drop another block called attribute we are calling the attribute from the json files so i have called it and from the weather of json file we have called so after that i there is image code so it provides image code code also so let's set image picture to uh, link and let's call the json file called icon code you can see here you can get the icon code so get this icon code and paste there so it will call the icon code and dot png will be another so it will call the image and after that description what is the type of climate you can get from there on the description so i am calling the attribute name called description so here overcast clouds so you can see that i have called the attribute name called description in the on the label so after that again paste json from the response content or okay i am editing this i, I will be called from the global json because we have already put the response content on the json global json you can put the response content also after calling from the uh, global json parsing the json i have called the attribute name main so here you can see the main attribute on that attribute we can get temperature minimum temperature maximum temperature and current temperature you can get the pressure or humidity also if you want then you can get it call it so i am only doing current temperature so current temperature level you can see that on the horizontal arrangement i have put the current temperature level you can see here so i am setting the current temperature takes the cost to current temperature uh, dot i am joining to show you can see here temperature that is my current temperature so i am calling the temperature from the json file so i am calling the temp so in you can see there in the max temperature also i am calling the attribute name called temp max so you will get the temperature in the uh, that level and you can see another temperature minimum you can get the minimum temperature from that attribute temp min so i have set up that 
so after that again i have called the uh, pairs json from the global json after passing it you can see here in the down so in the down you can see the name so this is the location of my name or this is the location of my place so i am showing it also then location text equals to joining the location equals to then uh, getting the attribute name from the name so i am getting the location of my place location name of my place so in this way you can uh, get the tem current temperature and you can create the current temperature app so here you can see i am using the swipe refresh layout from when user swipe then i have called the procedure and refreshing go uh, done to the false so this much and uh, you can design better if you want so this much for today guys if you like this video smash like button and if you are new to the channel subscribe the channel also so thanks guys thanks for watching